Welcome to Additional Add-ons with the OnKeying. This video will talk about the load balancer and I've saved this for last because I personally don't use it. I don't like it and I will talk about that in the video but there are a lot of people that like it and that's why I chose to include it. Load balancer is kind of a confusing add-on but fortunately most of its settings are pretty intuitive and you can leave them alone. I'm going to show you what exactly it's for. We're going to go to my statistics look at my collection of forecasts. So you can see on this day I've got a pretty good spike in cards there. Uh, load balancer is going to move cards around. It will preferentially move the mature cards around so that you kind of get a more even flow of cards so you don't have days where you all of a sudden have 50 more cards than you are used to. Now, the reason I have a spike here, I don't use load balancer but if I move this over you can see my final is in 10 days so I have been preferentially rescheduling cards to that day so that's what that's for now the reason I don't like load balancer number one is it doesn't tell you how far away your cards are gonna be so we're gonna take a look at the settings here now see here's my steps they're just set to one minute now it doesn't let me click my graduating and easy interval that we previously talked about in the settings videos you now have these new load balance things but I'm going to show you one reason I don't like it. Say I set my graduating interval to between 5 and 8 days and my easy interval, which means whenever I hit the easy button, is going to set the card somewhere between 11 and 15 days. It's going to preferentially put it on a day that doesn't have as many cards as the other days. So keep in mind, those are both really high numbers. Probably not realistic, but we're going to go in here and do this. Mark a card. See, it says one day or four days. I'm going to hit easy. So theoretically, this interval should be around four days, right? If we go into the browser and look at this card we just did, it is now set to 12 days. So that's one reason I don't like it, is because you don't know what you're getting. You're putting your full faith and heart into the algorithm. And the Anki algorithm was originally written so that the feedback was a fundamental part of it and so this the load balancer kind of takes away the feedback that's one reason I don't like it if you were going to use load balancer what you would need to do in the option settings is make sure that the graduating and easy intervals are a roughly what you want them to be what these will be similar to before you install the load balancer add-on because once you install it you can no longer change these I think that's kind of annoying the other reason I don't like it is I like to do this. The day before my final, I intentionally want more cards there because I'm, I want to review those cards right before my final. So when you use Load Balancer, you kind of lose that manual control. So for example, say I was going to go to Disneyland on this day and I really didn't want to have a lot of cards, so I intentionally scheduled them for this day and this day so that I could have a lower date. You can't do that if you have Load Balancer. The other reason I don't like Load Balancer is it doesn't work on the app. It only works if you are using the computer. Now that being said, if you do choose to use Load Balancer, I showed you those settings in the Options deck. There are also settings up here. When you download it, there's now a new Load Balancer tab. I would recommend leaving this exactly like it is. Those settings are perfect. The designer said that this isn't even meant to be on here. It was put there on accident, so definitely don't mess with that. Anyway, it can be useful. Depends on exactly what you're using Anki for. If you're only adding cards every three or four days, you may really like Load Balancer. If you're like me in medical school and you're adding 50 to 100 cards every single day, you'd be better off to do it yourself. And I'm going to make a separate video on how I do that, including using this new cards deck as well as the reschedule so that I can keep things fairly balanced. Thanks for learning with the Anking. If you enjoyed this, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, please leave any and all questions and comments. Here's our email. We will try to make as many of these videos as we possibly can to help you as you study.